In this workflow, we're going to look at using Revit data inside of SpaceMaker. Here I have a simple apartment unit. I'm going to export it out in the new Revit 2023 using the OBJ file format. I'm just going to use a simple isolate category here and export it out. I've got two units here. One is a one bed, one is a two bed unit. I'm going to bring it in as a millimeter metric. I'm going to zoom in and confirm that the Z axis is up the right way and that the scale is right. That's a 10 by 10 meter grid here. So it looks good. I can also use some more advanced tools to simplify the geometry. Uh, this is if you're working with other file formats. You can bring in these large files, but you can simplify them before you import them into SpaceMaker. You can also start to set levels. I'm going to place this one at the center of the site. And as I finish that command, I now have my Revit data in my library to be used inside of SpaceMaker. I can also start to import in some of the metrics here. So you can see I've got a 64 square meter apartment and a 107 meter square meter apartment. I'm going to add that to the area metrics of my units and then drag and drop them to place them on the site. As I'm adding that information, you can see in the design information, it's adding up that data in the area metrics on the right here. I can rotate, move the data up and down, and then create my apartment layout here. And I'm getting some feedback on the metrics of all those units on the site. I can adjust shadows in real time and see how they're looking. I can also save snapshots of particular views that are of interest, rename those views. And finally, we can go into the analysis and run some of the basic analysis tools such as direct sunlight or daylight analysis. So a simple workflow here to show how you can use Revit inside of SpaceMaker.